Within a Top Solid CAM document, you have many tools available at your fingertips. To begin with, I want to look at the design space. Here we see a complete machine definition with a fixture, with our part fully programmed. Sometimes you want to control the visualization of what you're seeing on the screen. So to do that, you can come right over here into the workspace, right mouse button click on display, choose display from the pop-up menu, and you can turn on and off objects of your assembly. Very cool. Next, on the right, of course, you have your project tree. Again, you'll always have open a project when you're working with data. I'm going to minimize that to the side. On the left-hand side of the screen, you see our NC Operations Manager. This is the NC Operations Manager for all of the various toolpaths that we've created in this sample part. For example, I have a facing here, a facing here, and you can see as I'm mousing over them, they're highlighting on the screen. Very cool. The eyeballs to the left of an operation sets that toolpath visible or invisible. If you wanted to simulate a specific toolpath, go ahead and click the toolpath icon to the left of the eyeballs, and now we're in a simulated environment. Very awesome. If I hit escape from there, I'm back to my operations list down here. Down here, you can see cycle time for this given operation or for the whole project. I can minimize this so I don't even have to look at it. The NC Operations Manager is again on by default. You can access it by going to View and activating the NC Operations Manager. You can see I have quite a few other operation or managers, I should say, open. That's because first and foremost, a top solid CAM document is also an assembly document. It's an assembly document that allows you not only to assemble things like fixtures, parts to cut, and so on, but it also allows you to manage everything within that assembly. Very cool. And on top of that, it allows you to create toolpath on everything within that assembly. Even better. Up at the top, of course, you have the various tabs, equipment tab, 2D, 3D milling tab to get to the toolpath. Don't forget, these little black triangles are drop-down menus of the same commands, just in menu format. You should be able to find quickly the command you're looking for to build the toolpath you need to get your part produced quickly and efficiently. Oh, 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 oh,